John chapter 7. Jesus goes to the festival of the tabernacles. After this, Jesus went around in Galilee. He did not want to go about in Judea because the Jewish leaders there were looking for a way to kill him. But when the Jewish festival of the tabernacles was near, Jesus' brothers said to him, Leave Galilee and go to Judea, so that your disciples there may see the works you do. No one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Since you are doing these things, show yourself to the world. For even his own brothers did not believe in him. Therefore, Jesus told them, My time is not yet here, for you any time will do. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify that its works are evil. You go to the festival. I am not going up to this festival because my time has not yet fully come. After he had said this, he stayed in Galilee. However, after his brothers had left for the festival, he went also, not publicly, but in secret. Now, at the festival, the Jewish leaders were watching for Jesus and asking, Where is he? Among the crowds, there was a widespread whispering about him. Some said, He is a good man. Others replied, No, he deceives the people. But no one would say anything publicly about him, for fear of the leaders. Jesus teaches at the festival. Not until halfway through the festival did Jesus go up to the temple courts and begin to teach. The Jews there were amazed and asked, how did this man get such learning without having been taught? Jesus answered, my teaching is not my own. It comes from the one who sent me. Anyone who chooses to do the will of God will find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own. Whoever speaks on their own does so to gain personal glory. But he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is a man of truth. There is nothing false about him. Has not Moses given you the law? Yet, not one of you keeps the law. Why are you trying to kill me? You are demon-possessed, the crowd answered. Who is trying to kill you? Jesus said to them, I did one miracle. And you were all amazed, yet because Moses gave you circumcision, you circumcise a boy on the Sabbath. Now, if a boy can be circumcised on the Sabbath, so that the law of Moses may not be broken, why are you angry with me for healing a man's whole body on the Sabbath. Stop judging by mere appearances, but instead judge correctly. At that point, some of the people of Jerusalem began to ask, isn't this the man they are trying to kill? Here he is, speaking publicly and they are not saying a word to him. Have the authorities really concluded that he is the Messiah? 
But we know where this man is from. When the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus, still teaching in the temple courts, cried out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I am from. I am not here on my own authority, but he who sent me is true. You do not know him, but I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. At this, they tried to seize him, but no one laid a hand on him, because his hour had not yet come. Still, many in the crowd believed in him. They said, when the Messiah comes, will he perform more signs than this man? The Pharisees heard the crowd whispering such things about him. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees sent temple guards to arrest him. Jesus said, I'm with you for only a short time, and then I am going to the one who sent me. You will look for me, but you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we cannot find him? Will he go where our people live, scattered among the Greeks, and teach the Greeks? What did he mean when he said, You will look for me, but you will not find me? And where I am, you cannot come. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, a scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this, he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. On hearing his words, some of the people said, Surely this man is a prophet! Others said, he is the Messiah. Still others asked, how can the Messiah come from Galilee? Does not the scripture say that the Messiah will come from David's descendants? And from Bethlehem? The town where David lived? Thus, the people were divided because of Jesus. Some wanted to seize him, but no one laid a hand on him. Finally, the temple guards went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him in? No one ever spoke the way this man does. The guards replied, You mean he has deceived you also? The Pharisees retorted, Have any of the rulers or the Pharisees believed in him? No, but this mob that knows nothing of the law, there is a curse on them. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus earlier, and who was one of their own number, asked, Does our law condemn a man without first hearing him to find out what he has been doing? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Look into it 
and you will find that a prophet does not come out of Galilee. Then they all went home. <laughs>